Welcome everyone to this Click Create Artist Spotlight. Today we have Sam Clover, also known as Plant Daddy. What inspires you to create? I've always been making art, like since I was very little. I've always just used it as a way to kind of communicate and navigate the world around me. But lately, I've been finding a lot of inspiration in like natural history and taxonomy and like molecular systematics and even like bulk taxonomy mostly. Like the idea that like tribal communities will categorize like orchids as little humans or they have a completely functional, you know, way of life while categorizing forms of life in a completely different way than we do. So I've just been doing a lot of reading on that and that's been very inspiring for me. What are your goals as a digital artist? I think like long-term mastering the art of like rigging animals and animation uh, in general. I really only started doing that like a year ago. So that's that's a long-term goal. And then short-term heat making art that can support like wildlife organizations and habitat restoration, which is what I've been doing lately. I haven't been able to raise like a crazy amount of money. It's like $2,000 or something spread across like a few places, but that's been really uh, fulfilling for me. What are you most proud of in your career as a digital artist? In this last year, starting the Helpful Sprites project, which raises money for wildlife and habitat restoration has been a huge one. I have like really felt detached from that part of myself. I seek so much inspiration from the natural world and it's been nice to sort of support people that are fully immersed in that and trying to help out. Very proud of that. And also in 2022, we curated with my partner and World Charleston. We all curated a show called Icons and Super Trans, which was like a full, very queer curation that was shown at the Super Rare space. And most of the works from that sold, which is really awesome. And yeah, it was just really cool to be putting something like that together. And like, it was extremely hard. Do you have any upcoming projects or big releases coming up? So earlier this year, my partner, Nicole Ruggiero, and I won the Artisan Grant. With the funds from that, we're working on creating a show called The Wish and Wash and just kind of like a slice of life show set in a laundromat that's also like an arcade casino with like a bunch of creatures and gambling and like weirdness and just like a bunch of different themes happening like mildly dissing not dissing that NFT space but you know like highlighting its faults so that will be really awesome once it's kind of come together literally the asset creation process for large scale 3D environment stuff is so much more tedious because you have to like make everything with like polygon count vary in mind. So come winter time, we'll have some like longer form animations coming out for that. Yeah, the, other than that, just doing the drop with you guys, which is amazing. So thankful to be part of that. And then I'm gonna be showing at Threda Gallery in Denver, Colorado, with uh, not NFT related. They're awesome. And then I'm gonna be showing in Montreal in partnership with OX Society and Super Rare. What were your goals for this Click Create edition? So I found out about this like halfway through a vacation and I was like, okay, I'm not home. The deadline's like in 10 days. That's really spicy. And then I usually don't accept things like this. But then I was like, I haven't got work in a year. <laughs> it's like, so it's my goal with this is to not only like push myself technically within the time constraint, but also meet the brief in a way that makes sense with my work and trying to reach like new friends and collectors and people that like really resonate with my goal I guess like I would love to find collectors that are working with wildlife organizations in some way or another or actually like doing stuff on the ground that would be really awesome.